Hey YouTube, it's Kurt. And today I just wanted to give you an update. Um, it's been a while since I like did a vlog or anything. Um, I've been thinking of ideas uh, of uh, what to bring you guys, like in terms of guitar videos. Um, yeah, and I've thought of a few things, but uh, yeah, I figured you might appreciate uh, a little tour and just get a little bit more perspective into my life. Um, first, I'll give you another roundup of my new place. So yeah, this uh, this is my room. Yeah, do a once over for you. Got uh, yeah. There's my panels and whatnot. I got a piano and stuff. Sometimes I mess around the piano. Just a bunch of music gear. Um, yeah, there's a, a broken laptop and uh, some GameCube games. Don't have it hooked up. Uh, but there's my Black Star, Black Star amplifier with the Trace Elliott cabinet. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's really awesome if I play a lot of lower frequencies. Like I tried tuning and drop a. And drop C, and uh, yeah, a lot of that sound came through really, really nicely through those speakers. Um, pretty freaking awesome, awesome setup. Black Star, I think it's totally worth the money. Okay, enough about that. Um, there's my acoustic guitar that I mess around with, and my Epiphone in there that uh, you'll see on a lot of games and stuff, and just odds and ends, and then my computer and whatnot, um, and then my bed. Um, yeah, I should probably get. Uh, I've been using a blanket as a um, as bed sheets. So, that's a little idea in my room. Um, it's a two bedroom apartment though. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I got a kitchen out in there. And, uh, the kitchen ain't bad. But, uh, yeah. I'm the only one home right now. I do have a roommate. He's a pretty cool guy. Um, but yeah, this is where all the action ha happens. Um, I do have a DS over there in that corner. Um, I like to play a lot of Pokemon on it. Because Pokemon is fucking legit! Um, but yeah, I spend a lot of time uh, in this room because, yeah, it's where I work on a lot of musical stuff. It's where I relax. And if I'm not here, I'm probably at work or playing music somewhere else. Um, yeah. So, I have a little bit of a social life. It involves Facebook, and sometimes I go out and meet people and party. Um, music is very good uh, socially that way. So, yeah, I do do that. But yeah, on to... Lots of new stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know what. To, oh yeah, I do come. I do come from Pennsylvania. Sorry, I'm just uh, showing you guys around a little more. I come from Pennsylvania, and I lived there until I was 18. Uh, moved uh, moved out here, um, and went to a school called Olivet, and it's a religious school, Olivet Nazarene University, and uh, yeah, it's a it's a school. Um, but yeah. Oh, there's my t-shirts. Oh, if you want a t-shirt, I don't have them available online. But, I bring all these out to my acoustic gigs and whatnot. And, uh, here, try to get a good view for you. Yeah, and there's, <laughs> there's my face enshrined on a t-shirt. Which, people actually go for it. And I'm super happy about that. Yeah, um, yeah, went to, but I graduated, now I work in human services. And, uh, yeah, human, human services, it can be very challenging. I've worked with, like, uh, sex offenders, uh, in the past, and that got really stressful after a while because I feel like that, uh, the facility is under poor management, but whatever. Um, and, well, under a lot of pressure from the state, but now I work with, um, the mentally handicapped. So that's, uh, yeah, that's a good overview of my life, and I'm just... I don't know, trying to go through the, well, not really go through the motions. I'm just trying to live my life and uh, make music. Well, with the with the band, um, the band I'm in, ATM, me, a uh, bass player and drummer, who are really good at their stuff, they're, they're really cool guys, and uh, we're going to try to lay down some new material and put out an EP that we can give to our fans and stuff. So that'd be really cool, but that's a really good way... Um, we don't have like a big following, but that's a way to get a following. If you make, put something into the sound form and you're able to distribute it to people and they're able to s hear it and have it ended to, uh, well, you need to have it to be really good, like sound quality. Um, once you have that, that can really help expand your following, especially if you get people to put it on a playlist like Spotify, just get, just get it in people's ears. And that's, uh, that's kind of the idea of fan building. 
Although, we haven't made it yet, so I don't know if I can give that much great advice about that. But, uh, oh. Oh, yeah, um, I forgot. That's my focus, right? That's, uh, my interface that I use to record a lot of stuff. Um, if I'm recording guitar, I can practice through it, and I'll just go through an emulated output on my Black Star. Um, but if I'm not practicing, I, uh, yeah, if I'm not practicing, I'm recording, I'll mic it up and I'll put the mic into here and it will sound really crisp and really good and clean. Um, but yeah, so yeah, oh yeah, and over here's the, uh, the orange, the orange, whoo, haven't pulled it out in a while, but it's really good for practice. I haven't needed it as much recently because I found a new way to practice, but yeah, it's a nice little backup amplifier. It does not record that well. Um, when you record it, it sounds a little bit fuzzy, but the live sound is uh, significantly better because you don't hear the cracking as much. Um, but yeah, that's a little more info about my life. If you have any questions, just like leave them in the comment section. I'll be back with like more like actual guitar videos. Um, I've just been trying to be creative. I've been writing a little bit more, trying to write for the band, um, trying to get a, like good material, and that's the process within itself. So, yeah, I guess just stay tuned now. Get to whatever energetic, flowy stuff goes through me. Yeah, that's kind of awkward. But okay, I hope you guys stay tuned. So, see ya!